dream role. It's always like about the idea and the director and the actors and like, yeah, just what makes me like happy. And like, I need to like care about it, if you know what I mean, like passionate. That's like my only thing. God, well, that's always a good trait, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, it's a boring answer. But, but, yeah. No, it's not that boring. It's, it's a good one. Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I don't know like any character, really. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you did another movie. Yeah. Did you? Do yeah. another movie. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. What, what, what's that? Yeah, I did a Swedish film called Amieten, and then uh, like in English, British, Estonia film called The Arbiter, and then I've been working on the National uh, Theater in Sweden the last couple of years. Oh, so you yeah, so I've been on a stage for stage. The, like yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, <sighs> did you think that you'd be where you were before you started out? Sorry, did you think? Did you think that you'd be where you are right now? in life mm -hmm. when you auditioned for that role of Eli? Mm. Mm. No, I mean, no, not really. It got so much bigger than I thought. I didn't think so much about it when I did the film. And I was so young when I was in it, so it's like big, been such a big part of me, so I, I, don't, I don't think about it so much, I think. Are there future movies in your, like, that you're working on or anything like that? Right now I'm actually like, yeah, last year I did like a break from acting, so now I'm writing my own stuff and I'm gonna hold a class and oh. uh, starting a podcast, like stuff like that. Nice. But soon I will start uh, acting again, of but, course. But, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, my final question, and then I'll open it up to you guys, is would you eat pineapple on pizza? Um, yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> Do any of you have a uh, questions for Lena? Hi. Um, Let the Right One is such a great movie, and it's probably one of the fastest times I've ever seen an American version made mm -hmm. afterwards, which I have not been able to watch because the first one's perfect, so I don't see what the point is. Have you watched it? How was your reaction to them remaking that film so soon? I haven't watched it. So yeah, I, sure. I can't really say anything. Um, right. I have no idea. I, I was supposed to say I, know, I don't know what, what's it about, but I do, but I haven't seen it. Yeah? From what I'm to understand, there's this uh, short story sequel. Were you ever approached to possibly make that when you were younger? Oh, no, I don't know, <laughs> really. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I don't think so. seen the film one time actually like the whole film and for me it's still weird to watch it and I think when you're a kid you know a lot about bullying and stuff even though I was very young it's like very close because you go to school and you, you see that all the time so I don't, I don't of course I have like more f thoughts now because I'm older um, but I think I still look at the film the way I did when I was like 12 Yeah. It took me a while because I, you know, the, there, there's been very much the bullying revenge in this game mm -hmm. that's really fun. But there's also kind of the tragedy. Yeah. And when I first saw it, I didn't quite catch that. And then when I saw it again, it was kind of like, oh, there's, there's kind of this really, that's, that's truly the horror. You know, yeah. Is he's trapped there. Now. When, when did you figure that out? Did you already know it? I think I like always felt it, okay. really. Even though I didn't read the script or anything like that, it was always like, I just knew in the lines, and like the way we acted and everything like that. It's just like, a, it's weird because I don't think about it so much. I don't do it now and I didn't do it then, but I just like know in some way. 
Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Were you surprised at the attention that the movie got internationally, that it's known all over the world? Yeah, of course. But then I, I, I don't... I mean, I live in Sweden, in Stockholm. So I get like fan mails and letters and stuff like that. And when I was younger and still, um, and that was when I like understood that it's a big film outside Sweden as well. But it feels just like fun. <laughs> How many awards have you won? I know that you've been nominated in one yeah. of you. You don't know, no, I but don't. A, probably a bunch, right? <laughs> I mean, how did that feel when you knew that uh, being a child? I mean, I have, it's so weird, but I don't think about it so much. Really? No, like really, I don't, um, that's not like why I do it. So I just like, no, I, I, so I don't know how many awards are and it's like that. That's, that's, that's. But it's fun, of course. Yeah. Of course. So. You're from Sweden. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Let's hear some, a little bit about Mina. What do you like to listen to? Oh my god, what do I like to listen to? Um, I listen to like all kind of music. I love um, the lyrics, so that's like the main thing um, I listen to when I listen to music. And I also like to read books. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I What's like your favorite books. book? Uh, oh, I don't know the word on Glaskupan. It's called on Swedish, and I don't know like the translate okay but it's like a classic uh, novel oh okay. yeah yeah um what's your favorite genre of movie i don't know i think it's like drama, drama. i have i don't like comedy so much that's, that's okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the, yeah you don't have I, to. yeah I, I like all kind of films i do like comedy like serious but films i think it's a, i don't laugh no, no, I don't. That's okay too. I mean, so drama. What's your what's your favorite drama movie? Do you? Is it? No, I'm so sorry. I, I'm so boring. No, I don't you're not boring. No, I don't have like any favorites. I think I recently saw Rosemary's Baby. It's not a drama film. It's more like horror. Exactly. Yeah. And I really like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Just like the feeling and everything, and I also love like the clothes and what do you call it furniture the, the furniture yeah, yeah the 19, 1960s were pretty crazy yeah um anybody have any more questions <laughs> I, i'm sorry oh no you're, you're a delightful person to meet i'm really glad that you got to come here and yeah, i'm glad to be um, here i have a question for you sure yeah. um who are the american I'm gonna give a boring answer again. I don't have like any specific, but I really adore people who stand up for things and like believe in what they do. Yeah. Do you have a particular favorite actor that you? No. 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 <laughs> I like them all. Do you have any uh, plans? Yeah, no, I don't have any plans here right now. It's only in, in Sweden. It's really, it's really yeah. hard to find your films in America. A lot of the time, they're like, they don't release them here. And if yeah. you try to like, find them, they're only, they don't even have the English subtitles. Oh, they're really? Just, okay, yeah, I see. Just, they're just in Swedish. I've actually kind of tried to start learning it. Oh, that. cool, cool. Do <laughs> you know any words? Um, uh, ok. Uh, and oh, ok, yeah. And That's and a good word. Yeah, and, uh, I like um, it. Um, Hard to pronounce a yeah. lot of them. It's the pronunciations because a lot of the time uh, you have to kind of memorize them because they're, they're not really guided by accents as much as like in Spanish. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so, but uh, and off the top of my head, I'm still, like nervous. I can't right now. But, <laughs> but what's the word on English? Uh, in uh, in English, uh, well, um, let me look because I have it. Oh really? I have, I have cards too. Um, actually, I. Uh, Actually, brought you something. Actually, uh, oh. that yeah, I'm gonna give you later. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's your favorite. Um, nice. Uh, uh, Charlotte is. Uh, am I saying it right? Sorry. Charlotte. It's K K R L K, but it, it's meant to be pronounced. Uh, Can I see it? 
I don't know. know. Like when I graduated, I've worked. I've been working at a theater for oh, like okay. the last couple of years in Stockholm. In, in, in Stockholm. Yeah, the national theater called the Dramaten. So I've been there. So I haven't like. In theater mostly. Yeah, and I really enjoy it. But I, but I, I, I miss shooting also, of course. Yeah. I was wondering what kind of movies would you prefer to be in? Well, that's the thing, because I've been acting on a stage for a couple of years now, and I have like red scripts and stuff, but I, but I, I don't get like super interested in it. So now I'm actually like writing my own stuff, like starting to work with people that I want to work with. So it's like upcoming. I don't know what right now, but soon I will know. Yeah. So given that uh, Left Right One and was it international and it was remade to American. Mm -hmm. If you had a uh, choice in a movie, what movie, or what American movie would you like to remake and be in? Oh. Oh, that's another one. That's expensive. Sweet. Okay, just because I saw Rose Miss Baby recently, I would say that would that would be pretty cool. Who would you be in? It would be her. What's her name? Rose Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Yes. Since you've been doing uh, live stage quite a bit for the last couple of years, yep. do you, what do you feel are some of the major differences in your the way you are, perform acting wise, live stage versus? Mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, like my private life is so much like when you work at a theater, you you go to rehearsal five days a week, and then you go on stage like a couple days a week in Stockholm. So I live at home, and when I'm shooting, I'm most of all going away and then it's like a break for a year or two and then you will come back and talk about the film and like stuff like that and theater is like right now and then i really enjoy being on stage because it's an audience and i can like feel the energy in the room and i yeah i think that's like the most but then it's also cool of course when it's like when you're shooting that's also like a really nice um i don't know the word when you're focusing Focus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was the hardest part of playing your role? What was the most challenging thing that you kind of had to overcome as an actress? In the left, right, one in. Yeah. Mm, I don't think. I thought it was pretty easy, because I didn't think so much about it. I just did it. It's now when I'm older and they're like, oh, you have to laugh. Th then I think it's hard. But then you have like a technique so you can start laughing or like think some th something is funny. But I, I thought it was a bit terrifying with a lot of people in the beginning and like the cameras and um, it was like a lot of stuff around me. And that was pretty tough in the beginning. I got a, bl a little bit um, embarrassed. Yeah, but it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, how was it off shoot like the bloopers you know was there anything that you would do to censor yourself once again and get out of that mind frame with me? no the thing is I just remembered that I like was on set uh -huh. and then someone picked me up and like told me what to do so like get a rest let's eat like because I was like 11 12 years old oh, yeah. so I don't have a memory that we did something special actually Hmm. No, I just thought it was like really fun all the time. That was a snow scene. Like in the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it was so cold. It was so cold. But I was oh, yeah, I was a kid, so I really like enjoyed being outside with like a no jacket, no shoes. Yeah. <laughs>
I like have a, a, a memory of like some kind of, uh, oh, what, what do you call it? Like this thing on the shoe? A sole. A sole? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think it didn't work. So I went barefoot, but I had like really nice shoes afterwards and like a tent and jacket and stuff. Yeah, but it was cold, but it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you have another question? No, you, you I. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, uh, well, Kinda. I mean, it, it was, how um, long was the filming process? Uh, two or three months. Two or three months, yeah. so what was it like at the coldest part of the of season? The the part of the season. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were like in the north of Sweden, so it's really cold up there. Oh, okay. uh, another question. So, I mean, were you able to keep any memorabilia from the movie? Any? Um, souvenirs, memorabilia? Uh, yeah. I think I have like my teeth at yeah. home. Yeah. I have two different pairs. And then I have like a lot of photos like behind the scenes. No, I don't have it. One of the most fascinating aspects about the film is, is how often uh, Evie's visage and her face kind of changes off and on. Like, mm -hmm. it goes through a lot of various, very subtle changes. And at one point, she looks kind of like a gaunt older woman. Uh, was that all CGI and makeup, or did they also have a double? No, I had a double woman. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, and they were like, this is you when you get old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think that's she's very nice. beautiful, so. Um, and, and, I, and I had a kind of a follow-up comment, not really a question, but uh, okay. what, what you asked about, and what you were starting to talk about, about uh, theater is that I, I've done some local theater mm -hmm. and stuff too, and, and, I, uh, and I've done some short films, and, uh, and I know exactly what you mean, that it's, it's almost kind of a vampirism in itself, but like a reciprocal vampirism, yeah. like where you're feeding from the audience yeah. and giving back, and that's so much more in the moment and right there, whereas like you're just you're just acting to the camera. Yeah. Because a lot of like film auditions, as opposed to like uh, theater auditions, for instance, a lot of the time you're just looking at a camera and there's a person with the script kind of just tonelessly like reading the other character's line, mm -hmm. and you have to just act off of nothing. Exactly. Uh, whereas like when you're auditioning for a theater, you get to like interact with the person, so it's yeah. more. Uh, Interactivity, it's more connectivity, more like teamwork. Yeah, I agree. most of the time. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, when you were making the movie, do you remember any instructions given by the director that were hard for you to follow or understand? No, not really. When he, when he talked to me, I always saw like pictures, like every single time, like not real pictures, like in my head. So it was kind of, easy and a fun process really well lena yep thank you so much thank for coming you. here and thank it's you a pleasure having. to have you yeah thank you for being here yeah thank you go see lena at our booth she'll be out there thank you